Okay, so here's your pressure cooker. Take out anything that's inside it, like this. Don't need that. What's left? Just the bowl. So there's the bowl. One of the few things you need to know is to make sure that the gasket is all cool inside the lid. I've already checked it. It's fine. Alright, so how to close the lid is probably the most important thing you need to know. This is done by turning this top part. See how it turns? Well, it turned and then it doesn't turn anymore. Alright, so when you close the lid, it just closed, but it's not locked until you go like that. Alright, and if you don't do that, it won't run. Nothing will happen, so don't worry about it. Well, do worry about it because you can't cook. But anyway, that's how you unlock. Alright, turn right there. Alright. Um, this little thing here is a, is a vent. You just want to make sure that's sitting comfortably, and it is. So now your pressure cooker is closed if you had all of your stuff in it. So that's one thing you need to know. The other thing you need to know that I can't really demonstrate is when it's done cooking, so this, this, when this timer is you know, at zero, and it's time to bleed off the pressure, which if you're making stew with a lot of liquid, it's going to take a long time, like three or four minutes. Then what you're doing is you're pushing on this button right here. So nothing's happening, but you see how it moved to this guy? Push that button and pssst, all the steam's going to come out. It'll come out right there, so you'll want to make sure you're not underneath a, a, a cabinet or something like that. Okay, so that's closing the lid. Then how do you set up to cook? Nothing will happen unless the lid is closed. It is. So you're going to be, your recipe, I believe, is calling for, hmm, it just went off. There we go. Um, your recipe is calling for either 13 or 14 minutes uh, pressure cooking on high. All right, so I think we want to turn this baby on. Maybe it's on. All right, pressure cook. There we go. All right, so 237 is a PSI, I think, and that's high. So you don't need to do anything else after you pushed pressure cook. All right? Then you want to set the time, and that's the clock icon right there. It starts off at 30, and if you want 13, you'll just, you know, arrow down to 13. When you think you're comfortable with that, you'll push that button right there to start, and it'll start. It's now starting, and it's getting ready to pressure cook, and we're going to stop it, of course. So what happens then is um, it'll take quite a while to get up to pressure. So this thing will, it, it, it'll have that sort of roundy icon thing going uh, for a while until it gets to 237 PSI. When it does, then it'll say 13 minutes, and it'll start to count down. When it gets to zero, it's important to know this, if you set it for 13 minutes, when it gets to zero, it'll beep, but it won't go off. It'll stay on till you hit cancel to turn it off. Um, no harm done, if you go for 14 minutes, that's fine, but if, you know, you can't forget about it, it won't turn off. You turn it off after your 13 minutes, and then when you're ready, then you do the bleeding thing here, and again, it's gonna be loud and hard steam coming out, so be ready for that. That's all you have to do. Once you've, it won't, until the pressure is completely gone, you won't be able to open this, this lid. Once it is gone, it'll beep, in fact, you just heard that. It'll beep, and then you'll be able to turn this, open it up, and then your stew is in there.